Welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be diving into an important heart condition known as Long QT Syndrome. This condition can have serious implications, but through knowledge and awareness, we can better understand it. Long QT Syndrome, often abbreviated as LQTS, refers to a disorder of the heart's electrical system. It prolongs the QT interval on an electrocardiogram, which is a measurement related to the heart's rhythm. The QT interval represents the time it takes for the heart's electrical system to recharge after each heartbeat. A prolonged QT interval can lead to dangerous irregular heart rhythms or arrhythmias. There are several forms of long QT syndrome, typically categorized into two broad types, congenital and acquired. Congenital long QT syndrome is inherited from one or both parents through genetic mutations. Some of the most common types include long QT type 1, often triggered by exercise, particularly swimming, long QT type 2, usually triggered by emotional stress, and long QT type 3, which may occur during sleep or at rest. Acquired long QT syndrome, on the other hand, develops due to external factors, such as certain medications, electrolyte imbalances, or medical conditions affecting the heart. Recognizing the symptoms of long QT syndrome is crucial. Many individuals might be asymptomatic, meaning they do not show any symptoms. However, some may experience syncope or fainting, seizures, or even sudden cardiac arrest. These symptoms can occur after engaging in physical activity or exposure to emotional stress. If someone experiences these symptoms, especially if they have a family history of heart conditions, it's imperative to seek medical advice promptly. Diagnosis of long QT syndrome typically involves an electrocardiogram, or ECG, which measures the heart's electrical activity. A prolonged QT interval can be measured, and further testing may include a comprehensive cardiac evaluation, such as a Holter monitor or genetic testing to identify specific mutations. It's important for healthcare providers to take a thorough family history into account, as this can provide valuable insights into possible inherited forms of the syndrome. Management of long QT syndrome can vary based on the underlying cause and the severity of the condition. In many cases, avoidance of certain triggers is key. For congenital forms, medications such as beta blockers may be prescribed to help control heart rhythms and reduce the risk of arrhythmias. In more severe cases, Patients may benefit from the implantation of a cardiac defibrillator, a device that monitors the heart rhythm and delivers an electric shock if a life-threatening arrhythmia is detected. For those with acquired long QT syndrome, it's crucial to address the underlying cause. This may involve adjusting medications that contribute to a prolonged QT interval, correcting electrolyte imbalances through diet or supplements, or managing any medical conditions that may impact heart health. Education is vital for managing long QT syndrome effectively. Patients and their families should be aware of the signs of potential complications and maintain regular follow-ups with their healthcare providers. Lifestyle modifications may also play a supportive role. Individuals with long QT syndrome should be cautious with activities that may provoke symptoms and avoid specific triggers identified during their evaluation. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with long QT syndrome, it's beneficial to connect with local support groups and online communities. Sharing experiences and strategies can help manage this condition and enhance quality of life. In summary, long QT syndrome is a potentially serious condition that affects the heart's electrical system. By understanding its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and management, we can help those affected lead healthier lives. Remember, knowledge and awareness can make a significant difference. Thanks for joining us today to learn about Long QT Syndrome. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Take care.